In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the Aligned Dimension Tool, the Arc Length Dimension Tool, and the Angular Dimension Tool to place dimensions on this object. I want to start by placing an aligned dimension on this incline line. This dimension will give me the length of that line measured parallel to that line. So I'm going to select on the tool, the Align tool, and I'm prompted to select a first extension line origin. I'm going to select at the endpoint of my angled line. Then I'm going to select at the opposite endpoint of the angled line. I'm going to move my mouse in between those two points, move out away from the object, and pick with my mouse. And you can see it places a length dimension and gives me the length from one endpoint to the other. And you can also see that the dimension line is parallel to the incline line and uh, or we could say also that 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 this dimension line is in alignment with that dimension or with that uh, angled line. I'm going to delete that out and next I'm going to show you the arc length command. Select the command. I'm going to pan over a little bit and what I want to do is select this arc move out from the object and pick. It places a dimension that has the symbol in front of the value of the dimension which indicates that this is the length of an arc and 3.14 is the length of the arc measured from this endpoint of the arc around the arc to this endpoint of the arc. It does not matter where I place the dimension the value will remain the same because it still is measuring just from these two points on the arc. Next, I'm going to use the angular dimension to dimension the angle of this line. And I'm going to have to show you two things about this. I'm going to select on angular and it wants me to select a circle or an arc or a line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my angled line but next I'm going to pick the vertical line and move my mouse out so I can place my dimension and pick out here. And what you can see because I chose the angled line and the vertical line that the extension lines for the dimension are drawn between the vertical line and the angle line which results in a 53 degree angle when measured from the vertical line to the end of the angled line. Now the second thing I want to show you about that is the difference if I pick on angular and pick the angled line again but this time select the horizontal line and then move the mouse out and drag that dimension out away from the part and pick and I get another angle and this time it's measured from the horizontal line to the angled line and the result here is 37 degrees versus 53 degrees when measured from a vertical line and back to the angle and so this really depends on uh, which one of those you would pick. The angled line in the horizontal or the angled line in the vertical would depend on what the designer's sketch uh, indicated that that angle should be measured from. I always try to match whatever the designer uh, provided in the sketch.